So we're going to start uh, this session with a brief uh, recap on what we learned uh, last time when discussing the actuarial equivalence uh, principle to calculate premiums. And the challenge or the exercise that we're going to look at is the following. We've got an independent superhero, Mrs. Incredible, who is currently age 35 and she needs to take care of her income after retirement. She wants to buy a life annuity, which provides her 12,000 euro annually for life and starts paying at age 65. And she wants to buy this product with an annual premium that is payable for 30 years, starting at age 35. And now there's one thing that is a little bit peculiar here. That is that Mr. Incredible wants the premium to reduce by one half after 15 years, right? So we need to think about what is the cash flow uh, that represents the premium payments in this exercise. What is the cash flow that represents the uh, annuity benefits? And we're going to establish an equivalence between the EPVs of, of both cash flows in order to determine the premium on this, um, on this uh, life annuity product. Okay, okay so here we go. Uh, first of all, I want to picture both streams of cash flows. And in Magenta, I'm representing the life annuity benefits, 12,000 per year um, in the beginning of the year payable. And this is a deferred life annuity because Mrs. Incredible uh, buys this product at age 35, but the first payment will only happen at age 65, right? And then the payments will continue for the rest of her life. So this is a 30 year deferred life annuity. So we know how to value this kind of product. If we then jump to the, to the cash flows, um, to the stream of cash flows that represent the premium payments from Mrs. Incredible, Incredible to the insurance company, then we know that the first 15 payments will be equal to say P, and P is unknown but fixed, we need to calculate the P. And then the next 15 payments will be equal to 50% of P. That's indicated here in green. So that means you have a payment, uh, a premium payment at time zero, you've got the last one at time 29, 15 times P and then 15 times 50% of P. So when we jump to the actuarial equivalence, if we write that down, uh, we can first look into the EPV of the premiums. And the way how I did it here in the first line is by using summation formulas. So I know that I'm gonna value these premiums using the valuation principles of, of life annuities. I know that I've got the first payment at time zero. Uh, and I've got the last payment, premium payment at time 29, right? And you see that I break it up here in, in two sums because in the first summation, the premium is P. In the next summation, I've got 50% uh, of P, right? And I'm using here, of course, my financial discounting factor. I'm using my survival probabilities in order to value this stream of premium payments. If I jump, if I jump to the international actuarial notation, I can recognize here in this first part the EPV of a life annuity with term 15 years issued to a 35-year-old. And here in the second summation, I recognize the EPV of a term life annuity, but with a deferment uh, that is deferred over 15 years. Because here, the cash flow uh, that is valued in, this, in the second summation, that only starts from time 15 on, right? And in the last um, equality, I'm using my knowledge of, of the EPV of a deferred uh, life annuity. There I can say that is V to the power 15 multiplied with the 15 year survival probability of a 35 year old. And then I've got the EPV of a 15 year term annuity issued to a 50 year old, right? So that's how I different ways to write the same thing. In the last part of my sheet, I'm taking more like coding or, or Excel mindset. So what I'm doing there is I construct the vector row, which has 15 times one as its entries, followed by 15 times 0 0.5. So that's my row vector. 
And if I multiply this row vector with a constant P, then I get exactly the same uh, stream of payments, premium payments, as I would have in, in, in the first line uh, in, in the, uh, as what I'm using in, in the upper part of my uh, sheet, right? So if I have this P times the vector rho, then I can use it directly as well to value my premiums. So that's for the EPV of the premiums. If we jump to the EPV of the life annuity benefits, then we know we're dealing with a, a deferred life annuity issued to a 35-year-old. Uh, the deferred period is 30 years because the first payment has to start at age 65 if, if she's alive at that time. The annual benefit is 12,000 uh, euros. So to value this, we use our knowledge 